Why do you like staying in hostels? Because it's the only way to meet people when you're traveling by yourself. Today we're talking all about hostels, specifically one really cool brand called Hostel One. And I just spent over a month traveling around Europe to a bunch of different Hostel One locations. So in this video, I want to take you along, share some of my experiences, and introduce you to some really cool people I met along the way. So what makes Hostel One so special? In my opinion, it is the vibe. It's more than just a bed. You don't just go here to sleep. You go here to have a good time. They really focus on making people have a great experience and there's a few things they do that just make it so special. So first, the activities. From free walking tours to picnics, this is a really great way to get out and explore the city that you're in. Another amazing thing that every location of Hostel One does is offer free dinner. So every night the staff cooks an amazing dinner and all of the guests come and share it and it's a great way to socialize and meet all the other people that are staying in the hostel and this leads right into the nighttime activities. After dinner we usually get the night started with some drinking games and then we hit the town together as a big group. So now let's review some of my favorite moments throughout this trip. So starting in Barcelona, that's where we started our trip, I arrived on my birthday and the celebration they threw was definitely memorable. Hey -o! Hey -o! Hey -o! This is Hostel in Spain right here. We arrived 15 seconds ago, beers are already in our hands, shots <laughs> being poured. Whoa, I like this place. The Hostel One experience right here. <gasps> what a welcoming, huh? Immediately, as soon as we arrived at our first Hostel One location, they just made me feel so welcome. It was amazing. In Madrid, one of my favorite things was the walking tour because we were able to explore the city. And it's funny, usually I'm not too big of a fan of walking tours, but this one was so great. I learned so much. Now I understand that on paper, Madrid might not sound like the most exciting place. We don't have the ocean. We don't have a big unfinished church, but what we have got is life, soul, energy, this vibe that runs through it. And it's not always easy to spot. Hey Tal, what are you thinking about this tour? It's been really interesting. I think uh, at the beginning of the tour, the guide kind of let us know, like if you, if you don't know what you're doing in Madrid, like we were, it could be kind of boring and dull, but getting all the history behind all these buildings and stuff, is, it's making it way more interesting. It's making it more monumental to be walking around in general. Days like this is like, it's kind of like stepping back to class. We get to learn, to intake a lot of information. But when you sit in class, it's much different because you're just sitting in a room. Here, we're here. Here, we're in the like physical she's like, place. She's telling us this history of Spain and then pointing at it like, that's it right there. It's, it's incredible. I'm loving this. I'll be making a video about that very soon and I'll recommend uh, a certain tour guide for you if you want a really good tour of Madrid. After Madrid, we went down to Sevilla in the south of Spain and one of my favorite things was a flamenco show. If you don't know what this is, check this out. The next Hostel One location we visited was in Porto, Portugal, and this is the newest location. When we went there, it was only open for about a month, and we had a pretty exciting time in Porto. In fact, so exciting that I even jumped off a bridge. Woo! All right, welcome to Porto. Watch this. Three, two, one. Ah! Ooh, adrenaline levels are peaked right now. That was so cool. <laughs> Next up, we went to Krakow, Poland. And not gonna lie, the vibe here was a little bit different than some of the other Hostel One locations, like compared to Spain and Portugal, because it wasn't necessarily as lively, because the city isn't as lively. But one of my favorite things was exploring the culture of the city, and actually, the food. We had some delicious, authentic Polish food. 
Oh, that was good. And we ended our trip with Hostel One in Budapest. And the most exciting thing we did there was a boat party. We all got on a boat together and rode down the river for a few hours with unlimited drinks. And you can imagine, it was a pretty wild time. So I think you've heard enough from me so far. So now let me introduce you to some cool people that I met along this trip and hear what they had to say about their experience. So hi, I'm uh, Rocky, Rocky Punawala. I'm from India. Hi, my name is Moses. I'm from uh, Montreal. Lisa, and I'm from Sweden. We're Benedict, and I'm from uh, Germany. So honestly, I've never stayed in a hostel before, even in India. This is the first time here. And when I walked in, <laughs> it was very, it's, it's always a mixed emotion and mixed experience because I've, I've always stayed in uh, five stars and places like this. So when I walked in, I saw the room, I was like, okay. <laughs> and then I saw the shared bathroom for six people. And I was like, okay. but. In one day, actually, by evening when it happened, I started loving the whole vibe because I've never done this before. I missed it. And actually, I'm 40 year old and a lot of the youngsters are here. So I'm figuring out how they're living their life and I have kids. So I'm just figuring out how it is for them, how it's going to be later on. But I feel this is what I missed in my life, to be very honest, because I would have been a really amazing person if I would have done these things. I'll send my wife and my son right now. I'll send my son for these things. That's one thing I think you become humble, you become more open, you understand people, you listen, you talk. It's something I've missed in my life. I have a lot of knowledge to give, but I had a lot of knowledge here in one day itself. That was the most special thing I think the hostel for me. First reason, of course, is that uh, it, it's way cheaper, so it allows me to travel on a, on a budget, right? I think the best reason to go to a hostel is you actually meet people and do activities with people and get a chance to meet travelers from all around the world. I would say it's about meeting the people that are um, from really different countries, get to know their stories, what they're doing in life. Maybe you can also like see if you get some interesting input to your own life through this. So I would say that's, um, that's the main thing I like about traveling around and staying in hostels. Yeah, especially if you solo travel, uh, it's way more interesting. Well, I've only stayed here at Hostel One and it's so much fun. Like, we have family dinners every night, free dinners. Uh, so you get to socialize, meet people, pre-drink, and then you go out to, drink, to party with everybody and you, get, you already know them, right? So you build this relationship and you get to meet some people along the way, travel with some people, learn different languages and cultures. If you're a little shy or if you're not that outgoing and everything, um, they make it really easy for you to stay, uh, still get in touch with a lot of people. Yeah, I'm just really happy I booked this hostel here. And people are pretty freaking awesome. Also the people that work here, like most of them are volunteers, you know, like young, cool people. And they're all super helpful, so nice. So one really special thing about Hostel One that I haven't mentioned yet are the employees. Most of their staff are volunteer based and they're travelers, just like the people you meet in hostels. And they really work hard to maintain that Hostel One vibe and I had the chance to sit down and talk to some people who had the experience of working there and this is what they said. I just like to be with people and I like to just meet people, just make friends. The atmosphere, I mean the vibes here, I mean all the people here are Amazing. The guests, the staff, everybody here is amazing. It's a lot of fun, something I've never done before. It's a great way to meet people. It's just the whole vibe of it. It's like a really different way to see a hostel as well. So like, I've been in hostels, but I've never seen the work inside of a hostel. It's just nice. It's just a lot of fun. I love our activities. That's like the number one thing. It's so easy to meet people. You can get here like nine in the evening, don't know anyone you will still be able to go out with people and have a good time. It's my first time working at a hostel. It's sometimes unpredictable, that's the best thing. One time you're going out, you don't know what's next. I love about this. <laughs> I'm always used to being with people and like I love talking to people and this one is very cool because you get to hang with them and go party with them and stuff like that. Uh, usually in a hostel you can do check-ins or maybe cleaning and stuff like that. But here it's so different. That's why I like it. My favorite thing is that I'm just able to build a social connection with all our guests, even our volunteers, receptions, managers. It's honestly one big family. There's just no time whenever you're traveling to live with, like in shallow waters. It's truly like you just jump in deep conversations. People are here two, three, four days and we can't just stick with like, hey, how's it going? Or yeah, what are you doing today? It's like, no, you get into these deep conversations every single day. Honestly, you're talking about family, you're talking about upbringings, cultural, social differences, and that's the beautiful thing about life, because 
at the same time we're so different but we honestly are so similar when it comes to what we want in life. So that's a little inside look as to what it's like to stay with Hostel One. And if you have any interest in staying in any Hostel One location, by the way, there are more locations that we didn't have the chance to visit, like in Prague and in the UK. So maybe that leaves us room to go back and explore more. But if you want to visit any Hostel One location, use our promo code YALLOWCLAT when booking to get a nice discount. I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. And I'll also be sharing plenty more videos from our trip around Europe because this is just a simplified overview. But I'll be sharing more detailed videos from every city that we went to. So make sure to subscribe to join these adventures. If you made it this far in this video, please leave a like and share it with a friend. All right. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.